Hello students, we have a few further tutorials about layers and this is really one of the most important thing if you're working digitally. In this tutorial we're going to see the different types of layers that we have in Painter and how to group them and how to transform the layers and the best way to be dealing with the organization of layers. So starting with the different types of layers. So like I said, the first layer I'm not really, really using so much. I'm just using if I'm making new brushes or if I'm working with new patterns and so on. So since we're just illustrating without having to use this with any kind of other tool from Painter, I'm always opening a new layer and I'm just going to be doing something very simple. I'm opening a second layer. Usually I do name them all. I have here a little flower and I opened four different layers. We can see here through the symbol that we have on the side that this is a kind of standard layer from Painter. If I would like to change the size of this layer, and we're going to have an extra tutorial really with this kind of transformation in Painter, but just for you to understand that uh, if I would like to move, for example, one layer, I can click and drag on one painted pixel from this layer, but this only works if I have the automatic uh, selection tool on. If I turn this off, I'm going to be touching anywhere on the screen, even on other painted pixels, and it's always going to be the same part that is going to be moving unless I select another layer straight on the layer window, and then I can be moving other layers around. Okay, independent on where I'm going to be touching on the painting. One good reason to have this is, for example, if you have very filigran type of illustration and you cannot really be touching that area so precisely unless you really increase the size of the image on the screen or uh, if you have so much information on the screen that you can select it better through the name of the objects on the list and then move around. But usually I always have the automatic select selection of the layers on so it becomes orange on this version of Painter and I can just click on any kind of pixel from the certain layer I'm going to be selecting and move it around. If I would like to transform the layer we can see here on the top bar or if I click and hold a little bit on the left side of the screen on our toolbar we have a transformation and we can see here that I can transform the layer that was selected before. If I hold the shift key, I'm going to be transforming this layer in an equal way. So I'm not really losing the proportion. If I would let it go and I would be transforming it without the shift key, you can see that I could be really free transforming it. And I would not be able to transform two or three layers at the same time. It would not work in this way. Oh, no, it doesn't work in this way. Oh, yes, it does. Okay, this is new. It was not working before. So this is new in Painter. This is awesome, because actually before that, we would need to put all the layers in a group and then transform the group, which is not a problem. And to group a layer, you select the bottom layer or the top layer and then you hold the shift key and you select the top layer and you go to the menu on the right side and you say group layers which is uh, propeller G or command G and then you have everything on one single group. In this case if I go to the transformation tool again you can see that I'm able to transform it now without problems. Okay. So this was something that uh, we could not do on the earlier versions from Painter and it appears that they changed this, which is really great. It makes everything much easier. We can see here as well that we have in Painter the standard layer and we have three other types of layers that we can select and open it through this way or we can be sure that at the moment we select any kind of tool that works with a different type of layer automatically a new type of layer is going to be opening so if I have now a watercolor brush that I would like to use to paint my flower for example 
automatically an extra layer is going to appear. We don't really need to be much worried about it. The only thing is that if I would like to work back again with another tool that does not work with a watercolor layer and I stop painting, I cannot be working on the same layer. So automatically Painter is going to be opening a standard layer so that I can continue working, but I cannot be working on the same one. Okay. At the moment I select both layers, the standard layer and a watercolor layer, we can see that you cannot bring them together. You cannot really transform them into one single layer. I could just be able to put them down together and you would see that the watercolor layer would go then to the working area, which is something that we really don't want to have. So you cannot connect these two layers and make them become one. But one thing that you could do is just group them again, make a group out of these two layers. Okay, this is another step from painter and layers and we're going to talk more about it in the next tutorial.